I'm Scott Proctor. I'm a network manager here at the school. I work at all the different schools and all the different high schools, um, going around fixing network problems. I primarily am responsible for the district server infrastructure. Um, we have over a hundred servers, uh, real or virtual, that all do different things. Um, so it's a, a wide um, range of responsibilities. You know, but I share it with uh, three other network managers and a network engine. The awesome passage of the recent mill levy affected everyone from the people like Scott behind the scenes to the techs who were out in the field. When I asked Scott about it, here's how he said it affected his job. It was a, a great investment. We can't do anything but thank the people in the city of Billings for working that up. I provide services that are for desktops, for laptops, for mobile devices to use. And the more we can update those, the better services I can provide, the, the more upgrades um, you know, I can provide um, you know, at the server level and things that we're bringing in from the internet. So, you know, I mean, really, what, what's a kick about it to me is just putting learning tools in the hands of teachers, you know, because there's so many cool things they can do that were never possible before. And in a, a very low-stress, game-like environment that kids respond well to, you know, to me, that's a big charge. And that tech level money just was outstanding. We were able to improve, you know, a bunch of computers that literally were being held together with bubblegum and duct tape for years. In his six years with the district, Scott has seen a lot of changes to technology in Billings. The backups were just so limited, you know, we could only go back at that time, you know, a matter of maybe a week, you know, and if you came to me and said, Scott, you know, I lost this file about a month ago, can you get it back? I would say, no, I'm sorry. So we just started slowly, methodically, you know, getting better backups, working on big projects to, you know, improve the antivirus response. At that point, we had one antivirus server for all of the computers in the district, so we weren't even getting updates on a weekly basis, and you should be getting them several times daily. In addition to mobile devices, it's just gone through the roof. Um, you know, I bet we have probably 16,000 users sharing probably upwards of 8,000 all the bring your own device stuff that's you know that's an amazing opportunity now too but uh, something that we're really looking at how are we going to provide this and support it and make sure our network doesn't get infected with viruses coming in on mobile devices from home. I know the teachers keep a pretty close eye on what the kids are doing but they they need to understand that if that kid's got his own mobile network in his pocket He's not going through our web filters and he might be able to look at stuff that we would otherwise block. It's been great that, you know, there's so many services now that open up the possibility of being able to put up a website and put it in the hands of, you know, kids. But that opens up quite a can of worms too because people don't really understand the piracy laws, the copyright laws. They think they can just go out and grab a photo from, you know, Google Images and put it on their site, and they can't necessarily do that legally. There's a real, you know, potential for hazard there. You know, parents have to be really careful, kids have to be really careful, and teachers have to be really careful, you know, in what we say and how we communicate. With all of the added access to things on the network, what's something that we as teachers can do to help all Scott? All these new world skills that have to come in, you know, we've got our part in teaching them that, you know. But first we have to teach ourselves. There's something I would like to see the teachers do. It would be, you know, to all take um, some sections in cybersecurity, how to protect your passwords, encourage kids to to uh, create good passwords and change them regularly. Uh, there's a lot of habits that we have to teach kids nowadays that we never learned in school. A kid can get in there on his, you know, cell phone and find the test answers, you know, that, um, you know, it's a breakdown in the system, but, you know, I mean, kids have been trying to scribble stuff on their hand, you know, and go to class for years before there was ever mobile technology and the teachers were always finding out anyway. So, you know, don't take the risk, kids. Learn your material study.